So we were talking about the second step that is how to approximate the nonlinearities with describing functions. We have talked about some nonlinearities and we have obtained describing functions for those nonlinearities in previous lecture. In today's lecture, we shall talk about one more uh, nonlinearity and we shall obtain its describing function. The nonlinearity we are going to deal today that is dead zone nonlinearity. This nonlinearity is also very common in uh, physical processes. Uh, the actuators uh, they have uh, this uh, dead zone nonlinearity that is up to certain range of inputs uh, that actuator does not respond and if uh, the input uh, exceeds from that particular value then uh, they have a linear behavior. So that uh, dead zone nonlinearity is described over here and is further uh, written here. This uh, delta is the width of dead zone. Uh, this horizontal axis is the input to the nonlinearity non and this vertical axis is the output of the nonlinearity. Uh, the steps uh, to obtain describing function, th those are quite uh, familiar to you. We apply a sinusoidal input to this nonlinearity and then see the output. So if we apply this particular input, uh, so what will be the output of this nonlinearity? For uh, this particular value of the input, that is unless uh, this, uh, uh, this value of the input is uh, smaller than this delta, there will be no output. And after that, uh, if uh, the input exceeds this value, the output will increase proportionally to the input. So that uh, here, this uh, input is sketched, the same sinusoid is sketched over here. And uh, this is the output of the nonlinearity. For uh, the values of input, less than this thing so that is up to this time instant this time instant is the same as this time instant over here so up to that time instant there is no output of the nonlinearity and after that uh, this uh, there is proportional increase in the output proportional to the input so what is uh, this uh, this value how to find this uh, value of uh, time omega t let's call it gamma so this uh, gamma is equal to this time instant, the time instant when this input becomes equal to delta. So we can write an expression for this gamma, uh, a into sine of gamma is equal to delta. So a sine of gamma is equal to delta and then we can find an expression for gamma, gamma is equal to sine inverse of delta over a. So, how to find uh, this expression for W of t? Up to this time instant from 0 to gamma, W of t is equal to 0. And what is uh, W of t after that time instant? So, here is uh, for uh, omega t between 0 and uh, gamma, W of t is equal to 0. And for omega t between gamma and pi by 2, this is given by this expression. How did we obtain this? So, what is the equation of w in terms of x uh, after this particular value of the input? So, it is equation of a straight line. And what is equation of this straight line? Uh, what is intercept on the uh, vertical axis? If we extend this line over here, so this is k multiplied by delta, slope of this line is k, so this length is delta, so this is minus k into delta, it means that equation of uh, this straight line that is uh, k x of t minus k into delta, that is equation of w of t in terms of x of t. Uh, where x of t, what is x of t? x of t is a sin omega t. So we have simply substituted this value of the input into this equation to get this expression. Remember that this, uh, this equation is valid after the input increases uh, this value delta that is uh, in this uh, time. 
and once we have uh, this expression for w of t we can now very easily find its fundamental component how to do that uh, this is odd nonlinearity, so a n and a naught will be zero. We only need to compute b one. B one is given by this expression. We have integrated it from zero to pi, and then multiplied it by two, because this is odd nonlinearity. Whatever is uh, this function here, the same will be here from minus pi to zero. So furthermore, uh, we can uh, further uh, write it in this form integrate it from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, then multiply it by another 2 because whatever is the area of this curve from uh, 0 to pi by 2 the same is the area from pi by 2 to pi so therefore we have uh, integrated it from 0 to pi by 2 and uh, this integral uh, can be split into two integrals integral from 0 to gamma and then from gamma to pi by 2 and from 0 to gamma w of t is equal to 0 and uh, then this expression is uh, written over here uh, integral from gamma to pi by 2 and this is expression for uh, w of t uh, which is written over here now you can easily integrate it uh, uh, this is uh, rewritten over here and uh, integration we split it into two integrals that is uh, this term multiplied by this one is written over here and k delta multiplied by sine omega t is written over here uh, this integral of this one is uh, very easy that is uh, integral of sine is uh, minus cos and uh, to integrate it we can use the half angle identities as we discussed in previous lectures so sine square omega t is 1 minus cosine 2 omega t divided by 2 we have uh, talked about this thing many times this uh, ka divided by 2 is written over here integral of 1 with respect to omega t is omega t and integral of cosine 2 omega t that is equal to sine 2 omega t by 2 this 2 is written outside the brackets and the limits of integration are over here integral of sine omega t is cosine omega t and this integrated from gamma to pi by 2 so substituting the limits of integration so here uh, if we substitute omega t equal to pi by 2 we have this thing and then omega t substituted equal to gamma so this one and then sine of 2 omega t uh, omega t uh, if you substitute this upper limit so sine of pi is 0 so that term is not written and then we have sine 2 gamma sine 2 gamma by 2 and this negative sign is uh, cancelled out with the negative sign when we substitute the lower limit and here uh, cosine of pi by 2 that is 0 and then minus uh, k delta into cosine of omega is written over here uh, writing this uh, sine 2 gamma uh, by using again uh, the identities this sine 2 gamma is equal to 2 sine gamma into cosine gamma so that 2 is cancelled with this 2 so sine 2 gamma by 2 that is sine gamma into cosine gamma and uh, what is gamma gamma is sine inverse of uh, delta over a so sine of sine inverse uh, that you get uh, this thing delta over a is uh, the sine of gamma that is equal to delta over a and then cosine gamma rest of the terms are written as it is so delta over a cosine gamma minus delta over 2a cosine gamma that is delta over 2a cosine gamma so here uh, i think here should be 2 right here should be delta over 2a that is missing over here 
then uh, we have simply uh, cosine of gamma is equal to 1 minus sine square gamma square root and the rest of the terms are written as it is so sine of gamma square that is a uh, sine of gamma is equal to delta over a uh, so this is v1 and describing function is v1 divided by a which is given by this relation so this is describing function for dead zone nonlinearity isko yahan pe jo agar typo hai to wo aap correct karenge delta over 2a to is the true ye wala 2b hum bahar leke gaye hain to ye 2 multiply hona chahiye yahan pe ye divide ho raha hai to ye multiply hona chahiye tha to jab ye yahan pe 2 se multiply hoga to yahan pe here it should be 2 delta over a this is incorrectly written over here and here it should be minus delta over a and here is also then negative sign here is also negative sign and here is also negative sign so please make these uh, corrections in this uh, expression